All right, now breaking in the News 12 Alert Center, an exclusive this morning just into our newsroom, reporting on a dramatic rise in catalytic converter thefts across Long Island, specifically here in Nassau County. We pushed police to give us these numbers, and we got them in this morning, and they are staggering. The numbers showing, this is a precinct number that you can see on our website as well to go and check out your own precinct. Take a look at these numbers. Last year in Nassau County, 445 catalytic converter thefts. This year, as of September, 1,549. Now we broke down the numbers precinct by precinct. So you can focus on your specific neighborhood, your area. We've been hearing from you that there have been stolen on a block, five stolen on a block all at one time. The first precinct, 36 thefts last year. Take a look at that number, 219. The second precinct, 30 to 201. That's like a 570% increase. The third precinct, 156 the year before, 279 this year. And the fourth, 25 to 106. It's across the board. Let's take a look at the fifth precinct here. 109 in 2021, 234 this year alone. In the sixth precinct, 11 to 59. The seventh, this is a major one too, 29 to 175 this year. And then in the eighth precinct, 49 thefts last year to 216. Again, we have this on our website, this map, so you can check out the areas. Now we have been talking to you, the residents, about a spike in these car thefts for the past few months. And this morning, News 12 Long Island's Danielle Campbell is showing them the numbers, getting some reaction from people. Danielle, you're in Oceanside right now. They just dealt with a whole lot of thefts right there, right? Yeah, absolutely. And that News 12 exclusive that you obtained is definitely showing the numbers are up. And believe me, everyone we spoke to here in Oceanside is saying absolutely they know all about it. We're here in this Oceanside neighborhood because this is where the latest string of stolen, stolen the catalytic converters occurred. Cars were broken into, cash was taken, and there was uh, even reports of two cars stolen. One was a Porsche. We spoke to Chris and Pete from the area this morning, and they say, boy, it is a big problem that needs to be addressed. They, they have uh, battery-operated tools now, so you can just go underneath your car and cut it out. It's a lot easier for them. And, you know, they're hiding in the darkness at night and they're just, you know, causing a lot of problems. I just hope they catch them soon. No surprise there with the uh, rhodium and the other metals that are in it. It's an easy, quick steal. The trick is you got to go, they're going to have to go after the junkyards and the recyclers. And uh, if they do that, then they'll uh, slow it down a little. But it's a hell of a price that they get out of it. Yeah. Well, here in the 4th Precinct, uh, as Aaron mentioned, Nassau County Police telling us last year, 25 stolen this year, 106. And police are saying it's important. Lock your cars. Take your keys with you when you go inside. Keep your car in a lit area, maybe uh, a motion detector light, so that if they try to take your catalytic converter, they'll have a more difficult time. We spoke with Nassau County Police who say they're going to speak to us about this a little bit later on. We're in Oceanside. Back to you. Danielle, thank you. Just showing what a big problem it is for neighborhoods. I mean, you know, these people that do this, they can, they're professionals. Oh, yeah. They're in, they're out, and we're working on getting the Suffolk numbers, by the way, too. Absolutely, and talking to Suffolk police. And that brings us to our question of the day today. Do you think law enforcement is doing enough to protect our vehicles? Scan the QR code you see right there on your screen. Our poll is live right now. Let us know what you think. Trying to get all the information we can for you.